Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you to our Utilizing Google Meet class. My name is Gary Wagner, otherwise known as Gary the Google Guy. Since most of us are working remotely these days, I thought it would be a great idea to show everyone how to utilize Google Meet if you've never used it before. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with our class today. So during this session, I'm going to show you how to access Google Meet in a couple of different ways how to start a video meeting, how to join a video meeting, customize your video meeting settings, and share resources within a video meeting. So let's start with speaking to what Google Meet actually is. It's a program within the G Suite package that allows for video conferencing, screen sharing, and even internal chat to that video conference. So First off, let's show you how you can access Google Meet in a couple of different ways. Now the first way you can access it is with not having to sign into an account. You just type in and the URL bar at the very top, meet.google.com, and it will take you to a page like you see on my screen here. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, it will allow you to sign in with your credentials of your Google account, or if you've already got a code to a meeting, which we'll speak to in a little bit, you can just click on use meeting code, enter that 10 digit or 10 lettered code and you'll be getting into your meeting right away. Now you cannot create or start new meetings yourself unless you are signed into a Google account. You can join any meeting without a Google account, but you need to have that code or a URL link to get into it. Now let's speak to the other way that you could access Google Meet and that is from actually signing into your account or being in your account and accessing it from there. So if you're already logged into your account as I am here in my Gmail, I can access Google Meet really quickly in the upper right hand corner of my screen from the nine dot grid icon. In that apps launcher you will see a Google Meet icon We'll select that and it takes us into Google Meet. Now once you're signed in, this screen's gonna look just a little bit different than the other one. You'll see in the right side of our screen, the top part, we can join or start a meeting. And then below that, it will show me a list of any meetings that are currently listed under Google Meet for me to enter. So now that we've shown you how to access Google Meet in a couple of different ways, let's show you how you can start a video meeting. So to begin, if I'm logged into my account, I can click on the right half of our screen where it says join or start a meeting. If I just want to create a meeting from scratch, I can click on the join or start. If I want to just create one, I can type in the name of my meeting and click continue. And it will take us into the join screen. Now let's show you how you can join from a code. Now when meetings are created in Google Meet, there is going to be a 10 digit or 10 letter code that's going to be associated with that meeting details piece. And I'll point that out to you in just a minute from a calendar invite. But once you have that code, you can click on the join or start a meeting box and that will take you into the box where you can enter that code and it will allow you to join into that meeting. So let's get out of this and I'm going to jump to the very top. I'm going to go to our calendar tab and let's show you what that code is and how you can access it. And then from there, I also want to show you how you can create a Google Meet video conference from a Google Calendar invite. Now you'll see near the bottom right corner of my screen, I have a Google Meet demo on my calendar. If I click on that, it brings up the info card. Now in that info card, I will see a link that will say join Hangouts Meet if one was created for that meeting. I can click on that and that will take me right into the meeting. Now what I'd like to direct your attention to is just below that, you'll see that there is a 10 letter code. This is the code that you would be given whether it's being emailed to you or just chatted to you, however it may be, that is that last piece there that you can enter in the from a code box in that Google Meet screen. Now let's talk about actually creating a Google Meet from a calendar invite. So I'm just going to go to tomorrow morning, 
and we'll click at 10 a.m. And then from here I can add a Google Meet, which in this case I could say this is going to be a training meeting. And then you'll see in the middle of this box it says add rooms, location, or conferencing. If I want to add a video conferencing option from here, I can click. It will say add conferencing. And then it will automatically create that link for people to join and that 10 letter code for people to access if you would like to give it to them. Now another way that you can access and create those Google Meets is we can create we'll go into more options we'll give it a title and then down to the left and middle of our screen we will see the add conferencing option select that from the drop down and it will automatically generate the details to that Google Meet there it will automatically generate a link for people to click and join once again they don't have to have an account in Google to be able to access that and it will automatically generate that code. If you want to grab the code and make it just a little bit easier, here's a tip. Click on the pencil or edit button. It will automatically highlight it for you. From there you can right click or control C, copy, and then you can paste that into an email. You can send it to someone via a chat, whatever it may be. That is the code that people would need to be able to enter. You could even text it to them on their phone. It will also generate down below there a local phone number for them to call into and a PIN that is automatically generated as well. So those are a couple of different ways that you can start a video meeting and access your Google Meet from there with the exception of being able to create in calendars we just showed you. Now let's actually talk about joining a video meeting. So let's get into our Google Meet screen and you'll see down in the bottom right of our screen we have that Google Meet demo so one of the ways that we can join that meeting is right from Google Meet where we can select and it will get us to the join in screen from here I've got some options and you'll see that in the middle we can see that our webcam is working and our speakers and our microphone are working we also have the option to turn the camera off in the bottom of our screen and you can mute your microphone which I always recommend to do automatically is just a habit of mine it just makes it a little bit easier when you come into a meeting instead of hearing background noise it's just a little bit more courteous in my opinion now to the right side of the screen you'll see the option for join now present just to the right of that and then join and use a phone for audio so sometimes we're in an environment where we cannot use our computer for the audio and we need to join by phone most of the time you can probably get away with being able to use the join now button and it will use your computer speakers as well as microphone for joining that meeting if you need to use the phone you can click on the join and use a phone for audio it will give you two options of call me you would enter your phone number whether it's a desk phone number or cell phone number or it will give you the option for dial in and it will give you the phone number associated with the meeting and the pin code to be able to enter to speak and such so that's one way that we can join a meeting so I'm gonna exit out of this meeting and I want to show you another couple of ways of being able to join a video meeting we already mentioned one and that was being from our info cards so if I go to our Google Meet demo invite we can click on that and you'll see the join hangouts meet it will take us into that join screen from there once again you have the ability to turn that camera off if you don't want to be seen and you can also mute your microphone if you'd like to upon entering now once you're in the meeting which I'll show you the interface there shortly you do have the ability to turn your camera back on or your microphone back on let me get out of this screen and we're gonna go back to our calendar now another way that you can join a Google meet really quick if you know that it has a meeting you can go to the meeting itself in Google Calendar and if you right click with your mouse or touchpad if there is a meeting associated with it you can click on join meeting and it will take you right into Google meet and with that URL for that specific meeting so those are some things that you can do with 
joining a Google Meet. All right. Lastly, I have one other way that I can give you for people to join a URL wise for your Google Meet. If you go to the top of your screen and you look at the URL bar, you can copy that entire link. That is going to be meet.google.com plus that 10 letter code associated with the meeting. You can ping that to someone in a chat box, a text, an email, however you want to give that to someone and they'll be able to enter your meeting as well. So now that we've kind of got some of that stuff out of the way on how to access and how to join Google Meet, let's get into Google Meet itself and show you how to work with the interface in that regard. We're going to click the Join Now button and we're going to get in. Now I've muted my microphone on the Google Meet because I'm speaking through a headset here. So you may notice that something comes up like you're talking, your mic is off, something like that. I'm doing that purposely just to stop any feedback that may occur in my recording. You, however, you can enter with your microphone on, you can enter with it off. My best practice is I always enter with my camera off as well as my microphone off just to double check a couple of different things that we'll speak to in just a little bit. Now, we're inside of the meeting, so let's look at the interface that we have here. So to begin, the lower left corner of the screen, you'll see that it says Google Meet Demo. And if I look and click that little arrow, it will pull up a window with all of the meeting information. This is stuff that I can copy really quick for the joining information, more phone numbers. I can even add attachments to this meeting as well. Now you'll also notice that down in the lower left corner of that box, there is a copy joining info. If you want to copy all of this information real quick, just click on that. You don't have to do a select all and then right click on it to copy it. You can just click that copy info, paste it into an email, calendar invite, whatever it may be, and give people that access that way. You do have the ability to add attachments, where if attachments are added to your meeting in Google Calendar, you'll be able to see those here and access them from here. And I'll speak to another little trick to the trade there in just a moment. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, you will see the participants and if you click on that little window it will show you the amount of people that are in the call. You can also see that you can add people. When you click on that you can invite them by using their name or email address or you can call them if you'd like to do that as well. And then also in that upper right there is chat. So you actually have the ability to chat with people in a call without necessarily speaking. You can ping links to documents and files or maybe URLs, websites that you want people to look at or reference during your meeting. You have some options there. Click away to the left and that window will disappear. Now the other thing that you'll see is that to the right side you'll have a list of all of the people that may be present in that meeting. So you can see who's there but you also have the option of changing the layout of your screen. If you go down to the bottom right corner of the screen, you'll see a three dot icon. If we click on that, you'll notice that inside of that, it will give me the option to change layout and it will give me some different options of an automatic, meaning whoever's speaking. I can do a sidebar, a spotlight, and tiled. Now with anybody else that's on the call, you may see a pin icon where you can pin a certain person to be viewing or a room, whatever it may be. You'll have that option as well. Also in the lower right, you'll see some additional options here, like use the phone for audio. You can turn captions on. You can go full screen, get rid of your tab top and bottom. And then we can get into our settings. Now settings is an important piece to know on how to access for one simple reason. It has the audio and video settings. In this case, I'm not using my computers microphone or speakers. I am using a headset that is plugged in via USB, which in this case it's my Logitech USB. If I had multiple options I could click on that and select which one I want to use. That also works for your speakers and if you need to double check things you can go to the right and do a test. Also in that bottom right three dots you'll see that there's report a problem if you've got any issues going on and then help. If you ever need to ask questions of how do I do this in Google Meet, you can access that there as well. 
staying in that lower right hand corner and I'll speak to this in just a moment you'll have the option to present your screen so you can actually share your screen out with people that are on the call whether it's you've got a website up you want to show a document or a file that maybe you're all working or discussing we can do that here we can also turn on captions from here as well and then in the bottom middle of the screen you'll have the mute microphone button you'll have the leave a call button so you don't have to just close the browser window you can just click the handset and leave the call without interrupting everyone else and then you also have the turn on and off your camera now if you do turn your camera off it will just display a profile picture that you have that's it alright so now that we've got that let's show you a couple of things that you can do within your Google Meet first off the chat up in the upper right I have the ability to type in whatever I want message wise I can also ping in a link so let me find a file here I've copied my URL to my link I can paste and now once I post that with the little arrow anybody that's on this call could click on that and get access if the file has been shared out with them if it's a drive file or if it's a simple URL a website they'll be able to get to that area there so chat is one amenity that you can use now another thing that you can use is the present now piece in the bottom right corner of the screen if I click on this this is going to give me the option to be able to share my entire screen or a window now the window piece is kind of helpful if you don't want to show everything that's on your desktop you just pick one specific window or you can do your entire screen and then pick which one from there so for example I've got a couple of different monitors hooked up to mine so if I click entire screen it will pull up my option in terms of which one do I want to share I can pick my right screen one or screen two share it and then that will post it up on the screen for everyone to see so if you've got a document website on one monitor you want to share that with the crew that you've got on for your meeting you can do that from here so ladies and gentlemen that is what I have for you in terms of the getting started with Google meet package now I do have a couple of things in terms of some best tips I can give you first off lighting can be everything it can make the difference in a really nice video conference call for you as opposed to a very poor video conference the lighting can make a difference because if you have the light in back of you you're just gonna look like a black silhouette outline to them as opposed to the video conference a lot of times you want to be able to see people's faces you want to see the expressions on their face so make sure you've got decent lighting whether it's above or in front of you in some way shape or form Two when it comes to your dress casual shall we call it if you are going to be presenting yourself with the video camera you might want to just dress casual maybe business casual depending on your role everybody understands that if you're working remotely chances are you're not going to be in the suit and tie and all of that all the time but you have that option if you want to just remember if you are in your pajamas you might want to turn that camera off all right third tip that I can give you check your background make sure that you're looking on the camera before you join that meeting if you are going to be showing yourself what is going to be in that camera frame you don't want to have either anything embarrassing or unprofessional in the background that might get commented on later on and then the last thing I can give you is your audio and video piece make sure video wise you've got a really stable internet connection that will give you the video quality audio if you're using your computer's audio it will depend on where the microphone is on that specific tower laptop computer whatever it may be you may need to get either a headset like I've got on right now with a noise canceling microphone or you can use your earbuds from your phone that has the little microphone on the edge of the earbud headset shall we call it you can gather that from there but that will give you a little bit better audio quality there and cut down on some of that background noise well ladies and gentlemen now we are complete that is what I have for you in terms of our introduction to Google meet and until we meet again another day another time another class this is Gary the Google guy take care everyone